Hey guys, here are the Lightning Collection Wave 12 figures. I'm gonna start with the Time Force Blue Ranger and Vector Cycle set though. Really nice looking figure. Blue Ranger actually has better paint than the original Red Time Force Ranger figure had. Blue Ranger includes his Vector Cycle. Hasbro did a pretty good job on the Vector Cycle. I wish it could have had the chrome on the front like Bandai's had, but otherwise, it's a good bike. I like that the handles can make the wheel turn. Here's a quick side-by-side -side with the original Bandai bike. Actually, I will add I wish Hasbro's kickstand was more like Bandai's. This is what your Time Force collection looks like so far. Looking good, but I hope they've got plans for some more figures coming soon. I was gonna say, Lucas has additional paint on his Chrono Blaster. It looks like it's actually a new mold entirely, right? Doesn't this look different? The Chrono Saber has more paint on it. Blue Ranger has more paint on the Morpher and the wrist area. And Blue Ranger's helmet also has paint that Red Ranger's was missing. So Blue Ranger is the new pinless body with better paint apps, an updated Chrono Blaster, and you get a Vector Cycle. For the most part, that's a win. Now, I don't know if they're all like this. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments, but my Blue Time Force figure, the legs are very loose. This figure has the new leg articulation as to some of the other ones I have that aren't like this. So I don't know if this is, if this figure is just like this or if all of them are like this for some reason, but this leg articulation is not an update I think I needed. So if, if they're gonna be like this, I'd kind of rather that they went back to the way they were before. How about you guys? That being said, he does still stand up, as I've already shown in this video. It's just annoying. I hope they fix that. Now we'll kind of transition into Wild Force, showing your Time Force Wild Force team up so far. I think that's a pretty good looking Max and Lucas. The unfortunate quality control issues aside, these figures are really beautiful. Max comes with his Crystal Saber and his Blue Shark Fighting Fins. And that is your Wild Force collection so far. From Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, we've got Damon the Green Ranger. That's a good looking Damon. You'll have to pretend he's fighting some Swabbies or Stinglingers here, which hopefully are coming. Here is your Lost Galaxy team so far. Kendrix is up for pre-order, there's a direct link in the video description. And Yellow Ranger's coming as well, but no pre-order links yet. I built a few more scenery pieces for this video. If you're one of our patrons or channel members, that video's up now if you want to see how I did them. And now we finally have Kira, the Yellow Dino Thunder Ranger. That's a pretty good looking Kira, right? I think that looks like her. Kira comes with her Thunder Max Blaster, and look, they got the color right on the third try. All right, it's supposed to be this darker blue color. Kira also comes with her Terra Grips. The weapons unfortunately do not combine. And even with her skirt, you can still pose her like this. And remember kids, if you have detention and you happen to find glowing rocks on an asteroid, don't touch them. These really look fantastic. Now they need some guys to fight. I could use some Tyranno drones. Please, please, Hasbro. Mesagog is coming, though. I'll have a direct link in the video description. This is your Dino Thunder team so far. Black Ranger is up for pre-order, but we also do have Fighting Spirit Tommy. It's a pretty nice looking collection, and I'm very much looking forward to Mesagog and Dr. O, and hopefully some Tyranno drones, and a Zeltrax. Ooh, ooh, and, and can there be a Triassic Ranger with uh, all, the, all the colors on the suit, like the black outline too, please, please. That would be really cool. I have a small crush on that ranger suit. That is a sexy ranger. Uh, are you checking out the Triassic Ranger again? Uh, no, Mia, there's no Triassic Ranger in here. I see him right there. Uh, Mia, how do, how do I turn this off? There. Oh, wait, wait, what's this? <laughs> is this you dressing up as the Triassic Ranger? Uh, no, how did this get on here? I, I didn't even know this was, get, turn it off, turn it off. <laughs> That's adorable. Mia, stop it. How do you, get, get down. <laughs> Stop laughing at me! This was back in 2004, all the cool kids were doing it, Mia! I don't remember doing that. Jerry got a bed! Okay. <laughs> Adam got another release with this thing. Uh, <laughs> does anyone remember the episode of The Simpsons? Uh, Malibu Stacy got a new hat? That's kind of what this... <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. 
perfectly good figure, and it's cool that they did this accessory. But if you already have Adam, you can probably skip this one if you don't actually care about the weapon. And also, technically, it's supposed to be Zack. Zack is the one that used the weapon, not Adam. And hopefully, since they did make this weapon, they also have plans for the monster it was used against. Can anyone name the monster? And now, Fixes and Rants with Bruno. So in the last video, a good handful of people asked me if I had any QC issues with my figures. For the most part, the answer is no. Um, in this wave, I do have the loose legs on the Blue Time Force Ranger. I know there are, are certain things to look out for. All of the pieces have been here so far, I'm aware of that. But as far as things breaking, like heads breaking off or hands snapping, I usually don't have that issue because of the hairdryer trick, which I've shown in a lot of past videos. I'm gonna show it again. I already posted something about this on the community bulletin tab, and a couple responses were essentially saying, well, that's no excuse, yada, yada, yada. And that is correct. Nobody is making excuses. I'm giving you a solution to prevent your existing figures from breaking. Even if Hasbro started producing figures made of indestructible plastic tomorrow, that would not do you any good for all the figures that you already have that you don't want to break. The hairdryer I'm using here came from the Goodwill. I paid $2 for it. I have a hard time believing that there are a lot of houses that don't have a hairdryer, but hot water works. You can use hot water right out of the sink. You can boil water, that works too. If you've got a little heater that doesn't get too hot, you can put the figure next to that. The colder your figure is, the harder the plastic is. So when you try to pull the head off or pull a hand out, if the plastic is cold, it runs the risk of snapping. When you warm it up, it gets softer and then it doesn't break. People like to talk about how back in the day, like in the 80s or 90s, toys didn't break. That's not true. I have a lot of toys from back then that have become brittle or that have pieces that could break but didn't have pieces that swapped. We have these new figures that have a lot of articulation and really small pieces. We didn't have that back in the day. Like my, my Ninja Turtles from the 80s and 90s, you weren't swapping heads and hands with all the figures and they were kind of fatter figures with a lot less articulation. No, this is not unique to Power Rangers. I had some issues with Marvel Legends figures before Hasbro even had Power Rangers. Bandai's Legacy line had some issues with hands breaking. Everybody loves SH figure arts, but those were very delicate and more expensive by two to three times the price of the Hasbro figures. The reality is things aren't always perfect. Sometimes you might have to do something like use a hairdryer to warm your figure up. It's really not the end of the world. I remember when everyone used to complain that the figures and the Megazords didn't have enough articulation. And now we have a lot more articulation, but more articulation means more chances for the thing to break. Personally, I always buy it from somewhere where I know I can return the thing. Amazon is great, free returns, it's really easy to do that. Hasbro also has customer service, you can email them. They've got a phone number that you can chat with them. If you buy your figures at Walmart or Target or GameStop, they all have return policies. I certainly wish everything could just be perfect like everyone else, but you know, when that's not the reality, then what is step two? So. Here is a way to keep your figures from breaking, and I would continue giving Hasbro feedback. It's clear that they listen to some things that people have said. Uh, if it's within their control, I'm sure they'll fix it, and if not, then I guess we're stuck with it. Do what you will with that info, but overall, it's a really fantastic collection, even though there are some annoying things. Why do they paint the Crystal Saber blue where it should be white? I don't know. Are they gonna do that with all the Wild Force figures? Like, is it gonna be the Ranger's color? Or is Max gonna have blue in place of white and then all the other ones are gonna be painted properly? Oh, that is definitely annoying. I hope they fix it. Is it the end of the world? No, is it still the best Blue Ranger Wild Force figure we've had? I would say it is. I don't know, at least for me, I just, I don't see things so black and white. Like, I'm as annoyed with the QC issues as anyone else, but again, it's, it's a really great line. These things are so much fancier than what we used to have as kids growing up, you know? Uh, but there's still things that could be better at the same time. All right, I think I've made my point here. Th this head is not gonna snap on me. It's warmed up, the plastic is soft, I could do this all day, it's not gonna break. So, you know, if your thing wasn't already broken right out of the box, it's gonna be fine if you warm it up like I'm showing here. If it came to you broken, return it or contact Hasbro. Since 2019, I've only had two hands break on me, and in both cases, I hadn't used the hairdryer. So this works for me, I'm passing it along to you guys. And this footage just kind of keeps on going, but my Izzy is fine. If it hasn't broken by now, it's not going to. Just warm your figure up a little bit and you'll be fine. And I really, really hope the takeaway from what I just said is not that I am pro quality control issues. <laughs> I, I foresee that coming though. All right, here are some more trivia questions. In Power Rangers Time Force, who can name the type of crystal that Doomtron drew its energy from? In Power Rangers Dino Thunder, Name a song Kira sang. 
In Power Rangers Wild Force, the Spear of Pardolis is what kind of animal? In Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, can anybody recite the spell Deviat read from the Galaxy Book? Or if that's too much, can you name the spell? And last one's gonna be extra hard. This is a true or false. In Season 1, Master Vile put an evil spell on Adam, causing him to not only see all of his friends as fish, but a side effect of the spell caused him to be unable to access his turbo powers. True or false? All right, gonna end here. Check us out on Patreon. We've got more stuff coming there. More good videos coming over here. Thank you guys for watching. Good night. Where did you come from? <laughs>